Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online as a work from home freelancer. If you are one of my subscribers, you probably have seen some of my Etsy tutorials. I have made over 4,000 sales on Etsy selling digital products or printables. And in my last tutorial, I talked about how we can use ChatGPT to help us with content for our printables that we can sell on Etsy. But today I'm going to show you how exactly you can create beautiful Etsy listing photos. So when you're searching for printables, for example, or someone wants to buy a printable or digital art or something like that, right here, these are all listing photos. Basically, they're like YouTube thumbnails. People are only going to click on them and see what your product is if the thumbnail is captivating. So in order to have success with your Etsy shop, this is number one, this is so important. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this tutorial completely for free and using only free things on Canva. But if you want to learn how to get started with Etsy, I've linked you in the description below to my complete Etsy playlist where I show you how to open an Etsy shop, how to do all sorts of different things on Etsy and create digital products to sell on this platform. But today we're going to focus on creating listing photos. So when you go to create a new listing on Etsy, you have the option to submit up to 10 photos that show your item's most important qualities. So we really need to make use of this. In my last video, I showed you guys how we could create a similar printable to this one, which is a bestseller right now because it's the Easter holidays. And you can see here that she has a really nice custom listing. So this is the printable we created in my last video here, the Mad Libs one. And rather than just take a screenshot of this and upload it onto our listing page, we wanna make it look really professional. So the first thing you need to do is have an image of your product. So in this case, it's a printable. So we're going to download it as a JPEG file or PNG file. So click share, go to download, and then download your image. So this was page one, done, download. So this is the printable that we created and now we want to make a product listing with this printable. So we're going to do that using Canva and it's completely free. So if you don't have Canva, you can sign up to Canva using my referral link in the description below. So you're gonna click here on create a design and then you're going to go to custom size and here you're going to put in 2,700 by 2025 pixels and those are the best dimensions for the Etsy listing photo then click create new design. So the first thing we're going to do is add a background color or a background image. To add a background color, just click on the background here, then click on background color, and you can choose whatever color you want. You could choose a gradient color. In this case, I want to show you how to use a cool background image related to whatever your printable is. So we're going to go to this side, click on photos. Now I have a pro account, but I want to show you guys how to do this without a pro account in case you don't have one. So before we search for our photos, we're going to click here on this, these little icons and click free. And that will only show us photos that are completely free and click apply filters. Now we're going to type in Easter background because that's the kind of background we're making. In your case, it could be anything. You know, maybe it's a wedding printable you're selling. Maybe it's another religious printable, something for a planner. And here are all the different free backgrounds that we can use. I like this one right here, this tulip one. So I'm going to use this. So what we're going to do is click and drag and adjust the nodes so that it fills up the page as we would like it to. So now what we want to do is add our product. So we're going to go to uploads. So then click on upload files and just upload your product picture. Now what we want to do is we want to make it stand out a bit. If you go back and look at this woman's, you can see that she has this quite big. And that way when people are searching here, they can see it and they don't have to really squint. They can see it right away what the printable is. So what we want to do is scroll and make this one quite large like this. And I wanna add a shadow to give it a bit of dimension, okay? So it looks like it's an actual piece of paper. So we're going to click here on edit photo and Canva has all sorts of new really cool options. But the one problem with all of their new options is right now they don't have the shadow effect. So until they add that into the new photo editor, we're going to go down here and click to use the old experience, click here. 
and then click revert to the old editor. And that will give us the option to add a shadow. So now click on edit image and here you're going to click on shadows. And if you can't see it, you can type shadows up here and click on that. And then we're going to click on drop shadow. So if we click here on these icons, we can adjust where we want the shadow. So I want it to be the bottom left and you can change the angle a bit if you want and then click apply. And you can rotate it by clicking on this button here. And let's say you're selling a printable that has multiple sheets. What you can do is click on this, right click, go to duplicate, and then you can kind of go like this and that way it looks like you're, it's showing that you are selling multiple printables. So now we want to add another button that kind of says like instant download so people know that this is an instant download. We're gonna click here on elements, type in circle with outline. We're gonna click on this frame here. And what we're going to do is on this rainbow button, we're gonna make this a color, one color, instead of adding a picture. And then we're going to make a frame color as well for the other one. You can also add your own color by clicking on this color wheel. Let's say I wanna make it a light yellow. Okay. And what I want to do here is I want to add some text to let everyone know that this is an instant download. So we're going to go to text, click on add a heading. I'm going to type instant and then enter download. And then I'm going to click on the text and drag it over here, adjust the size and rotate it a bit and then change the font. I wanna make this the same yellow color I just used. Now we can adjust the font. Let's do impact. You can also click here on spacing and adjust it like that if you want. Make this all capital letters so it pops out even more and you can just click here on uppercase and that will make everything uppercase. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. So that's good for our first page. Now we want to create a couple other pages so people can see the full product and also if you wanted to sell a bundle pack with more than one printable. What we're going to do is click here on duplicate page and I'm going to erase this instant download and this as well. And I'm going to make this smaller, rotate it a bit. And we're just gonna let everyone know what exactly is in our printable. And now we're going to click here on elements and we're going to type in rectangle and click rectangle add a shape. And this will allow us to type in size. So we're going to put in product features. We're just going to tell a bit about our printable. So if you click and drag it and make it big, we can change the font, we can make a bold, and then click here to change the text color. And now I'm going to click on it, right click, duplicate. And I'm actually going to change the font color to the pink and then click here to change the background color to white, okay? And now I'm just going to put a little bit of information about what is in my printable package. So I'm gonna click here on the bullet point. What we can even do is click here on spacing and go like that so it fills out a little bit. And the last thing we're going to do is click duplicate page, erase this, and we're going to put here important information. And we're just going to put a little disclosure to let everyone know that this is a printable, a digital product and not a product that you're going to send them just because some people get confused about that. Please note that this listing is for a digital product that must be printed, not a physical product. Okay, then control A to highlight all the text and let's decrease the letter, the line spacing. I'm just gonna center it like that. And we can even go into elements and type in printer and get a cute little print icon, change the color of it so it matches and do something like that. Okay, and now we have three really nice, beautiful, professional looking custom photos that we can upload on Etsy. So to download these photos, we'll click here on share then we'll click on download and you can download all three pages at once into a zip file or just individually. And now when we add our new listing on Etsy, we click add a photo 
and add all of your photos that we just created. And you can see here that this would be our primary photo. We can click adjust thumbnail and you'd see this is what it would look like. You could adjust it to make it zoom, zoom in or out, but you can see that looks awesome. It looks professional. It shows very clearly what our product is. And as the person clicks on your link, they would go through it and they'd be able to see all of your different listing photos, including your important information. And if you have multiple printables, you could do this for each printable that's included in the pack and on your main page, put five page bundle or something like that. Okay, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I just love Canva so much. They make it so easy to make really beautiful custom listing photos and thumbnails and everything else. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.